The U.S. will send Ukraine nearly $3 billion in military aid, in a massive new package that will for the first time include several dozen Bradley fighting vehicles, U.S. officials said Thursday, in the Biden administration's latest step to send increasingly lethal and powerful weapons to help Ukraine beat back Russian forces. European allies also stepped up their weapons commitments. Germany announced it will provide armored personnel carriers and a Patriot missile battery to Ukraine, and France said it will soon hold talks to arrange for the delivery of armored combat vehicles. All of the announcements, however, fall short of sending heavier battle tanks, which are more complex to use and have a longer range gun. The Bradley, an armored carrier used to transport troops to combat, is not a tank but is known as a tank killer because of the anti-tank missile it can fire. The latest U.S. aid, totaling about $2.85 billion and about 50 Bradleys, is the largest in a series of packages of military equipment that the Pentagon has pulled from its stockpiles to send to Ukraine. It is aimed at getting as much to the Ukrainian forces as possible during the winter months, before spring sets in and an expected increase in fighting begins. An announcement is expected Friday, said the officials, who spoke on condition of anonymity because details of the package have not been publicly announced. President Joe Biden and German Chancellor Olaf Scholz confirmed in a joint statement Thursday that the U.S. would provide Bradleys to Ukraine while Germany would provide martyr armored personnel carriers. The statement did not give the number of vehicles or the total cost of the aid package. He said Ukrainian troops will need training on the operation and maintenance of the vehicles. Ryder declined to provide details on the version of Bradley being sent or the timelines for delivery or training. Also included in the aid package will be Humvees, mine-resistant ambush-protected vehicles, or MRAPs, and a large amount of missiles and other ammunition, according to the U.S. officials. The aid comes on the heels of Zelensky's dramatic visit to Washington last month when he slipped secretly out of his war-torn nation for the first time to thank America and predict that 2023 would be a turning point in the conflict, now in its 11th month. In urging more support for his country's war effort, he told Congress, your money is not charity, and instead is an investment in the global security and democracy that we handle in the most responsible way. Zelensky and other Ukrainian officials have pressed Western leaders to provide more advanced weapons, including armored vehicles and the Patriot missile batteries. A $1.85 billion aid package last month, in addition to including a Patriot battery for the first time, provided an undisclosed number of joint direct attack munitions kits, to modify massive bombs by adding tail fins and precision navigation systems so they can be guided to a target.